Hi, my name is Latika Balachander and I am a level 2 fashion design student of the BA Honours course of the South College of the Arts and I'm specialising in textiles for fashion. So the project begins with the topic of modest fashion and under which I chose uniformity as my specific sub-theme and more specifically dystopia as my topic. So I questioned subtle rules of the construction of a basic shirt, including the, the, the measurements or the placement of the calf or very important and very subtle details throughout my garments. And that's how they go back to what dystopia means, the meaning of expression. I kind of translated it simply to the lips and the eyes, which are basic symbols of our human body that depict expression. The major three kind of you know tints that I'll be looking at would be black, red and white. The reason I chose the three would be so that they have a very interesting contrast. Particular silhouette that I have designed, I like the idea of deliberately making a mistake. So my placket has deliberate folds in them of my buttons. So that's I think that's an element that I felt was the most interesting because it makes a mistake but it makes it in the most positive and the most beautiful way. The major methods that I would be looking at in terms of textiles as I'm a textile student would be embroidery and screen printing. I think I like the idea of with dye printing to draw whatever I want. So that creates the fluidity that I'm looking at within terms of the concept. I think fabric is very important in terms of the consideration. So for me, I would be looking at more structured fabrics such as linen and more closely knit fabrics or closely woven fabrics. The market that I'll be looking at specifically is luxury streetwear. And since I'll be looking at luxury streetwear, it would be finished in a more with overlocking or with just open seams, overlocked open seams, rather than a French seam. When it came to drafting it, or when it came to actually constructing it, you realize that in theory, it seems perfect to just change a few things, but then when you're questioning rules, you tend to come across you know, small errors with measurements or with the placement or with the angles. So that's what I face. I do want to be a fashion designer who is able to create that path of expressionism for my customers or for somebody who would be wearing my garment. So I do want to be somebody who can voice out what a person on the street wants to be able to express.